Dear students, today consider problem number 10, exercise 12.3, and check book class 10. The problem 10 given, first we taking the problem 10. The area of an equilateral triangle ABC is 17320.5 cm square. With each vertex of the triangle as center, a circle is drawn with radius equal to half of the half the length of the side of the triangle. See figure 12.28. Find the area of the shaded region and use pi equal to 3.14 root 3 equal to 1.73205. So these are problem. First given this is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral means all sides are equal and all angles are equal. So this is an equilateral triangle. And area of this triangle given 173.20.5 cm square. Area of this triangle this given. With each vertex A, B, C, these are the vertices. Each vertex we draw circle. We consider A as a center, we draw a circle. B as a center, we draw another circle. C as a center, we draw another circle. These three circles. And we don't know the radius, but radius given length of this, half of the length of this, length of the side of the triangle, and this half portion is this, this is the radius of the circle. Now we have to find area of the shaded region, this portion we have to find. Now how to find this area of this portion, first we consider area of the triangle and these are the uh, sector area sector area this is a sector area if we taking whole area of the triangle and subtract this three sector area ultimately we get this shaded portion now we start this problem first we want to find what is the length of the equilateral triangle each side we have to find. Now solution given area of the equilateral triangle Given area of the equilateral triangle ABC, this equal to 173.20.5 centimeter square. This one given. But we know the area of the equilateral triangle is, we know that, we know that the area of the equilateral triangle ABC equal to root 3 by 4 A square. This is root 3 by 4 A square. Higher A equal to length of the side of the triangle A equal to length of the side of the triangle. Now, so this area equal to given this according to the question root 3 by 4 A square this area given 173.20.5. This one given centimeter square. This centimeter square given. So area given this. Now A square equal to first our target to find length of the side of the triangle. 
so a square equal to 4 by root 3 into 1732 0.5 uh, unit we write last so this is 4 by 4 by root 3 means the value of root 3 is given 1.732 205 into 7173220.5. This one given. Now we want to find this value in lower class method. So if we remove this a square equal to 4, if we remove this decimal, then remove this decimal 173205. If we remove this decimal, then how many digit we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we write 5 zeros because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In lower class method, we can solve in this way because we have no calculator in exam. Without calculator, we solve in this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, 173205 if we remove this decimal after one this is a decimal so we write 10 this one so these two are like terms this will be cancel one zero cancel so what we get we get a square equal to 4000 zero, zero, zero. Here 4 into 1 is 4, 4 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, this one you get. So this is a square, so e equal to root of r, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this will be a equal to root of r, 200, 0 whole square, this is 200. So, what we get length of the site equal to 200. Therefore, AB equal to BC equal to CA equal to A equal to we get 200. 200 centimeter. So, length of each site is 200 centimeter. Now, we want to find sector area for finding the sector area we must have radius and this angle we know 60 degree because this is an equilateral triangle angle is 60 degree so first you have to find sector area so before finding the sector area we must know radius and angle angle is obviously you know angle is 60 degree but we don't know radius but radius given uh, here given with each vertex of the triangle s triangle s center and a circle is drawn with radius equal to half the length of the side of the triangle. So this length is 200, half length means 100. So half the length is uh, radius equal to half the length. So therefore, radius r equal to, this is 200 by 2. 100 100 is the radius of the circle so sector area we have to find this is one sector area this is another sector this sector so how many sectors we have three sectors one two three so we write total sector area total sector area equal to 3 into theta by 360 degree into pi r square. We know sector area formula is this. So 3 remains same and this is theta. Theta means 60 degree. This is 60 degree, this is 60 degree. So theta is 60 degree because the triangle is equilateral. And pi means pi is given. 3.14 3.14 and r means 100 100 whole square we get 
this so this will be uh, 6 and this is 2 uh, 3.14 by 2 into 100 square means 1 4 zeros and if we cancelling this 2 1 jar 2 2 5 jar 10 2 7 jar 14 2 1 jar 2 this is 11 2 5 jar 10 14 2 7 this and this is 1 0 0 0 0 so if we multiplying this then 2 0 will be cancelled 1 5 7 0 0 centimeter square we get this four, three sector area total sector area is 1570 zero, 700 zero, zero, we get two zeros 7 two zeros is cancel for this decimal and another two zero we get 15700 zero, zero, centimeter square this is the total sector area of this now our requirement area of the shaded region area of the shaded region means area of the equilateral triangle minus this sector area so area area of the shaded region equal to area of the equilateral triangle area of the equilateral triangle ABC minus total sector area minus total sector area so this equal to area of the equilateral triangle area is given one seven three two zero point five minus area of the sector this is one five seven zero zero this this area already given this one and we find this and if we subtract this this minus this 17320.5 minus 15700 if we subtract then we get 16205 20.5 centimeter square so this is the final answer of this problem so answer is area of the this headed region this headed region equal to 1620.5 centimeter square and this is our final answer so dear students answer we get this big answer this big answer represent this is the ending of the problem so this solution is very nice no one can say this solution is difficult but you have a calculation so you are students you should know the how to calculate the problem and you can use the easy method so if you are feeling easy this solution then please like this video and if you are new in my channel then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon thank you